Hey, Will, congrats. Uh, maybe just start with the, the, the pitching, deciding to throw Perry um, and how you guys were managing the pitching for this one. Yeah, um, KP, you know, we, we felt like we liked the matchup there. And um, after what Shay had given us in the first game, it helped set that up uh, with, with KP there. And he's gradually built himself up. We we're going to let him go um, as far as he could tonight um, within reason. And that he was about the end of his rope there, probably one batter too long. Honestly, we wanted to leave him in there uh, to get the lefty and uh, put Spencer in a tough spot there. But yeah, we were hoping to get him through uh, four initially and then five, uh, maybe getting a little greedy there. I thought his stuff was outstanding. I thought the fastball was great. The command was good. Uh, he flipped the breaking ball in there. Um, I thought he just competed um, with the heart of a champion tonight. I mean, it was it was very, very impressive. Was that maybe plan A for you guys in terms of Perry and, and then Schwellenbach yeah. being able to take it home? Yeah, it actually worked out the, the way that we planned it out, was uh, handed off to Schwelly after Perry. Um, if we had to go to somebody else, when, if Schwelly just couldn't get through the game, then, then we were going to do that. But, uh, you know, it worked out. Schwelly gave us everything that he had, every last drop of every everything in his being. He gave it to his team and uh, pretty, pretty special. Chris? Well, does what everything that happened today, the first game tonight, does this kind of define what you want your team to, to be and what you want it to look like? Yeah, I mean, again, win or lose, um, you got to have that dog in you. You got to have that that fight. You got to have that that heart um, to where no matter what's going on around you, you're just gonna you're gonna be all about the throwdown, and uh, that's what these guys have been about all year long. We've we've had double headers. And we've been in tough spots. Um, I knew our guys were going to come out and compete today, um, you know, but we didn't come here just to do that. I mean, we got another game to, to finish tomorrow, um, but it was, it was, uh, you know, what we've seen all year long and, and that's what we're, uh, you know, that's what we're going to hang our hats on. How much did Jackson's home in the first inning kind of set the tone for you guys and tipping the cap and then saying, bringing on everything? Well, I mean, just in general, just, um, you know, sparking, you know, they had the lead off home run yesterday. We had the home run in the first inning today. Um, you know, it just kind of gives you that extra boost uh, in your dugout. And, you know, just being being on the barrel early in the game, um, I thought we had a lot of really good at bats. Um, I thought we squared a lot of balls up um, and, you know, just kind of setting the tone in the first inning um, sometimes can can be a big difference. Let me know if you get more questions in the chat. Evan? Well, you guys had maybe three or four outs on the base pass tonight. Is that a product of being aggressive or were those mistakes in your eyes or how do you kind of grade those happening? Yeah, the, you know, the one, um, you know, Griff got a little excited there uh, on the, the line drive to left field. That That is, that's, you know, one that we've got to, we've got to clean up there. Spence is trying to make a play, uh, goes first to third. Um, their pitcher does a nice job of getting over there and covering. You know, obviously don't want to try to make the third out there at third base, but that one I have no problem with, just playing the game uh, loose and aggressive. Um, that's that's the way we have to play. That's the way that you got to play um, when you're in front of 11,000 fans um, that are rooting against you. And, uh, you know, sometimes you're going to, be on the wrong end of it. And certainly you want to be smart, um, but I'm, I can always live with the aggression. And then when, when you look ahead to tomorrow, where do you go with the pitching? I mean, is Kate Povich an option given his short outing earlier in the weekend or where do you start with that? Yeah, we're going <clears> to, <throat> we're going to pick up the pieces here um, after this one and then figure out, um, you know, what we have lined up. We have, you know, having uh, several guys that, that didn't throw today at all um, with, only throwing four guys, I believe, uh, five guys and a doubleheader. That's pretty rare. So I think we're going to have a lot of fresh arms, a lot of guys that are going to be ready to pitch, and then we'll make a decision probably this evening on who's going to start. Chris? I, I probably already know the answer to this, but, but what's the message to your guys tonight as, as you kind of try and turn it over now and get ready for tomorrow? The message is, is we're just going to keep coming. Um, just show up again tomorrow, just like I ask them to do all year. 